Well, this is embarrassing. Uh, I'm in a better state of mind now, um, thankfully. But yeah, I kind of screwed up. And uh, I'll explain what happened. So the past three days, I took this motorcycle uh, rider course that gives you a certificate that you can use to get a motorcycle endorsement on your license. Now, where that gets more complicated is that not every state accepts every type of course certificate. And basically what just happened was I called the South Dakota DMV and was asking what exactly, or I mean, my, my actual main question was, can I, what documents do I need to sign it, send in for my application to get the endorsement on my license? And can I do it by mail or do I have to drive up there? And in the process of doing so, they asked, oh, you know, what um, organization did you get your certificate from? And maybe you're putting the, the dots together here. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, this place. And she was like, oh, you know, I'm not finding it. You know, give me give me a minute. Like, let me let me talk to someone. Anyway, call gets dropped. Recall someone else. And <clears throat> she's like, okay, um, basically the course that I took is not part of the Motorcycle Safety Foundation organization, which is a, like a nationwide organization that a bunch of different uh, organizations, but like education uh, courses, organization, motorcycle learning organizations are part of that are like certified for the MSF whatever requirements. And <clears throat> specific to me, apparently the DMV only accepts certificates from the MSF. So basically what just happened was I took the wrong course and they won't accept my course completion card, which is incredibly embarrassing. Um, and frankly, uh, more than just embarrassing because I kind of feel like I just wasted a bunch of money and three days of my time doing something that I can't use. Now, it's more nuanced than that. Um, now that I actually have brain power to uh, communicate my thoughts, it's, I have some options. And the other thing was, part of this, part of what I just said kind of doesn't matter. Because the other thing that she said was, because uh, I have a specific residency, I have to basically renew my driver's license in order to get the motorcycle endorsement on it. And what that means is I need, they have some specific criteria. One of those is a uh, one night stay receipt in the state of South Dakota, which means, which I don't have within the last year, which means technically in order to do this, regardless of what course I took, I have to drive up to South Dakota, South Dakota to get that receipt of a one night stay. I mean, I did it last year to get the current license that I have now, but in order to get this endorsement, I basically need to renew my license, which means I need to go through this process again, which requires driving up to South Dakota. So that makes the blow less bad because it's like, well, regardless of what course I took, I can't mail in my application, which is what I preferred to do. Now, the good thing is that I'm in Denver and South Dakota is like five to six hours drive away. The bad news is um, I don't 
really want to drive up there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I have options. Um, I'm reaching out to my, the instructor to see if there's any kind of like transfer uh, process between the two organizations. Um, probably going to say no. But yeah, it's like, I mean, I could take another course in Denver to get the certi certificate. I could drive out to South Dakota and take one of the MSF courses there. I could use the knowledge that I that I just gained and just take the written and road test in South Dakota. I don't know if I need my own bike and helmet and stuff for that, but, um, um, and I would have to drive up there anyway. And so I'm now, now I'm like, is this really worth the effort? And I don't know, but, um, I feel very embarrassed because the last three days were very much like, oh, this is so great, and this is gonna be great, oh, like perfect. All I need to do is take this course and then send in my application, and then like, we're good, you know, super easy. And um, turns out none of that was true. <sighs> it's frustrating, but um, yeah. And, and what's even more embarrassing is the reason that this happened was, um, how do I say this? When I was Googling, oh, I wasn't Googling, I was ChatGPT. When I was searching for, basically I had no idea how any of this worked. Um, I was like, there's this MSF thing and then that seems to be just like a nationwide criteria that are met for different organizations, which I think is still true. Uh, but not every organization is part of that foundation, MSF. Um, and so when I was searching for a place to do a basic rider course in Denver, um, I was ChatGPTing and it listed four places. And the first one, the the first available slot was I think it was this weekend, or it was like the, or it might have been, I think it was September twentieth. I think the this weekend was full, and the next weekend was um, was empty. So. And then this, the second one was the one that I took. It was like, oh, there's one open tomorrow. This was on Monday, starting Tuesday. And then the other two were like, there's one in October and whatever. And so I was like, great. Um, there's one open, in, open literally tomorrow. I can get this done by Thursday, which was yesterday. And I was like, okay, before I sign up, I asked ChatGPT, can you confirm if I sign up for this course, will I be able to use the completion card that I get to mail to South Dakota? And it was like, yes, you can. This is the steps, whatever. So I was like, great, do it, sign up. Um, and then I uh, called the, M the DMV today. And while I was on hold, I was like, well, I, after the first call dropped, while I was on hold, I was like, I just took this course from this organization. I got this completion card. Can I use it at the South Dakota DMV? And I was like, yes, you can. They accept, you know, it's it's different than the MSF, whatever. Um, so apparently, I guess, what happened is there's just not enough um, written, like, knowledge, like, articles on this process that it pulled from, could pull from. Um, Cause it gave me the whole like, oh yeah, this this place is different than the MSF. So like you should call your DMV just to confirm. Um, but I guess it didn't know that the DMV requires an MSF course. So anyway, um, 
I don't know if I already said this, but like this, I mean, it's totally my responsibility. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna blame ChatGPT. It's just unfortunate. Um, yeah, like that's that's 100 on me. I should have confirmed all of this. Probably should have called the DMV first. Um, but you know what? <sighs> you live and you learn, and sometimes you make mistakes. And the good news is. I don't know. <laughs> the good news is, um, I did the earliest one. So it's like, imagine if I had signed up for the one in two weeks or in October and then figured out that I was taking the wrong course. Um, and the other good news is, it was not a complete waste. Like I, I learned the skills and I passed the written test. So there's a chance, I have to research this, but I've, there's a chance that I could just go to South Dakota and just take their test rather than taking another three-day course. So, yeah, anyway. Just one of those moments where it's like, man, this is one of those things that could have been avoided. And I think those types of situations are even worse than those that like you just didn't have the information at the time like there was no way for you to figure it out this was like i could have figured it out figured it out i could have just called the dmv and make to c confirm and make sure uh So anyway, some life lessons in there. I'm um, trying to, I was going to say trying to own up to it. Um, I guess that's sort of true. I think the, the other thing that I wanted to say was it's like one of those situations where kind of the ground crumbles beneath you, like you're standing on assumptions that are no longer true, and it's like, well, shit, um now a whole bunch of things have changed um now it's like where i thought i was gonna go here maybe i'm driving up to south dakota in the next couple days it's like complete u-turn was not expecting to do that um maybe it'll happen maybe it won't i don't know i still have to decide but um, this is the pre-decision post finding out video. So anyway, own up to it. It's embarrassing, but, it, and the other embarrassing part was, you know, there's a difference between uh, doing something and then doing something and talking about it publicly. It's like, I have made videos publicly the past couple days talking about this course and how um, you know assuming that just taking this course is all that I needed and I could mail in that application and um, that's not true so even more embarrassing but it feels I feel better now in this part of the video than I did right before starting the video one of those, like, get it out, own up to it, it's embarrassing, it sucks, uh, figure it out, uh, work on the, develop the figure it out muscle, and uh, move on. And then, you know, forget about it, you know? Get it done, move on, forget about it, uh, and that's that. So, anyway, um, not exactly sure what I'm going to do today. Maybe get some groceries. <laughs>